This is a very important scenario in algebra when you're dealing with multiple systems of linear equations. In this case, we're given two different linear equations, and what we're trying to do is solve for the value of p. Well, to be able to do that, what we have to do is be able to either use substitution or combination to solve for the variable in question here, the variable p. Well, a great way to set this up is through substitution. Look at the second equation. For the second equation, you can quickly rewrite this to get the value of q in terms of p. If 2p minus q equals 11, then 2p equals 11 plus q. So q is going to equal 2p minus 11. Once we've got this value, we can plug this into our other equation, and instead of p plus 2q equals 8, we'll write p plus 2 and substitute in the value of q we've just solved for, 2p minus 11, equals 8. Let's distribute the 2. We'll get p plus 4p minus 22 equals 8. Let's combine our 4p and our p. We'll get 5p equals 8 plus 22, or 5p equals 30. So p must equal 30 divided by 5. p equals 6, our final answer. So what's going to be important with this problem is not only do you have to have strategies to help you deal with these questions more efficiently, such as substitution and combinations, you need to be adept at how the GRE is going to be testing you on these particular types of problems. Great work.